are challenges in the market at the moment, and there's nothing more challenging than the military sector. What do you see moving forward? Look, I, I think part of it right now is some market dynamics. We're seeing lots of changes around space, um, the whole of the space ecosystem and the space market, and that clearly plays into how we as industry can respond to some of the demands from our customers. You know, which types of satellites and platforms are going to have a long-term future, which ones we're investing in, which technologies to invest in. You know, that is changing quite rapidly, and that, that's quite well reflected in, in different areas. Specifically, though, from a military perspective, um, what I think many nations, and, and my area of expertise is the UK and Europe, and that's where I'm, I'm employed to look after, they're now trying to think about, okay, how to respond to some of the threats that we're seeing. And these are military targeted threats against space systems. You know, and, and that's everything from trying to really think about the cyber assurance of the systems, how do you maintain the sort of cyber protection of the ground systems, the link, um, and the spacecraft themselves, but also think about the supply chain and the build of those satellites. How do you make sure that's assured? And then, you know, at a more sophisticated level, how do you actually protect the asset on orbit? And how do you respond to be that anti-satellite, you know, um, uh, missile technology, co-orbital threats, um, sometimes just sort of um, uh, non-kinetic threats as well. You know, we've, we've put a lot of investment into that as a company. It's one of the areas where we've got a lot of capability to bring. Um, and that, again, I think is, is, is an area where many nations now, in my conversations, are trying to think about, okay, how do I start thinking about protecting these assets?